My name is Uzan Palsi. You can see me on One Sense Foundation. What and who inspired you when you grew up? I grew up in Martinique. Um, it's a tiny island in the Caribbean, the French Carib part of the Caribbean. And um, I was uh, very much, uh, at a young age, I was very much uh, into art, uh, like uh, poetry, music, uh, and, and cinema, um, and, uh, and, and singing. Uh, and that, I mean, I, I, uh, I started to write s poetry very young, at a very young age. Then I will put uh, my poetry in music, uh, just for my pleasure, not to be out and be a star. Or <laughs> I was young, yeah. um, and then I, I. So that that what happened, you know. I had that passion, uh, and I had to make a decision between uh, going to be a a, a, a a soprano, or or a filmmaker. And I decided to, you know, that's those, but music and cinema were my, my were my two loves. And I decided to to go to film because, you know, I had a, a mission, I had something, you know, to to accomplish. Uh, and I, I love so much films, and on and uh, and I couldn't and I was shocked every time that when I was a young girl I would go to the movies in my village. Um, most of the films were coming from America. And it, really, we, we had a black character in the movies. But every time that there was a black character, he was always in a degrading, degrading part. Uh, um, and, um, and, and I was very, that would hurt me a lot. I wouldn't understand why, why he had to be that. Um, and, and I decided, you know, out of anger, you know, my 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 love, you know, um, I decided to, in fact, to use that anger, that frustration, to to make it so creative, and uh, and make films. We've got lots of young people from different backgrounds all over the world and I think that's an issue that a lot of our young people from an Asian background still feel. They're very negative characters on the screen. Have you got any advice for making that change and how yeah. they can do that? Well, uh, I, my movies, I, I used to say that uh, I, my films are for everybody, but my, my, uh, my first audience is the kids, the young, the young people. I create for them. I create to, to help them to dream and I create to make them dream and take actions. And uh, the best advice that I am giving them, I have been giving them, is to believe in them and them, themselves. Because, you know, if I was able to do what I'm doing today, and I'm not from a rich family, I'm from a very tiny, little t island in the, from the Caribbean. There was no filmmakers before me, and, and, and I, and, but I, I loved film and I knew that I wanted to, to be a filmmaker to make a difference, to, to talk about my people, to show that we are not what they want us to be or what they are showing uh, on screen that we are and that we are not. So, um, so that's why I know I went down that road and I fought very hard. I never compromised, never compromised. And, um, and my motto has been never take no for an answer. 
that's the advice that I would give. Believe in yourself and, uh, and take action, whatever, even little bit, start very on a little scale. And, and, but believe in yourself. Always, you know, be focus, focusing the future. Don't go back. Don't go and look back. Or if you look back, it's just to say, wow, I came all the way to here. But not to say, well, okay, well, and then get discouraged. No. When, uh, when I, I left Martinique, my country, I didn't know what racism was. I had to go to Paris to study, to d discover, you know, all, all my life, you know, my young life. I, I was very proud to be French. I was very proud to be, to be black, to be who I am, you know. I was very sure of myself, you know. And my, my parents always gave me a sense of... Uh, uh, taught me of this, uh, give a sense of who I am, where I came from, my ancestors and everything. And when I came to France, all this has been challenged by people who didn't like me because I was black, didn't like me because uh, I was uh, female. Uh, and uh, and I, I, I had to fight against that. And I, because I had a strong, uh, I had strong, I was very rooted, grounded, uh, uh, you know, thanks to my grandmothers, my parents, and so on, uh, I had that strength in me, and uh, and I rem always remembered what my grandmother used to tell me. You know, use your gender, use your color as as weapons, as tools and weapons to move forward. You know, and don't let anyone to make you feel like you are blessed, that you are not worth anything, or you are ugly or you, are, you don't deserve to go here or here. You know, you know, go. And, and if they put a fence in front of you to stop you, jump over that, that fence, you know? That, uh, this has been in my head, in every fiber of my body. And that was my fuel, you know, uh, to, to, to move on. José, tu vois comme la case est propre. Les vêtements passent à lui. Ça fait moins fashion, ça, hein? Bon. Well, and see, if I have something to share with them, uh, I would like to tell them that, yes, believe in yourself, believe in who you are, what you can achieve. Um, and, and also, Please, please, please remember that study is important. You need, you don't need to have big degrees or to be, you know, to make a lot of. St but please, study even the minimum that you can. You need education. You need to be educated because if you are not educated, you will always be the slave of somebody else, and you have no freedom. Because in my my movie Sugar Cane Alley. I, I have the teacher from the small village writing on the first day of school on the blackboard. Education is a is a key that opened to the second door of our freedom. So if you are not educated, you you, you are not free. Education will free you. That's very important. <laughs>